Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I am going to be doing a room tour today. So I decided to do this room tour because in um, a short time I am going to be going off to university. So I won't be in this room as much. Um, and of course I wanted to do some changes to it and take some stuff down. I've already done a few of those things, like move stuff around, and I'll explain that a bit as I'm giving you a tour. First, I am standing in front of my door, and this is where I keep most of my bags and purses. I did have to take uh, a lot of my purses off just so um, I could actually get into my door because like I mentioned in my bag collection video, I had so much trouble getting in and out of my door because I had so many bags on it, but I'm going to show you where else I put my bags later in this video. Well, I have Princess Elsa right here, which is just kind of like a clip. I got that for Christmas one year. It's a little flashlight thing that I just stick on here and it looks really cool. These flowers and butterflies here are actually decorations from my Sweet 16. My Sweet 16 theme was like a Midsummer's Night Dream from Shakespeare, and we had these kind of flowers in this kind of blue and uh, you'll see it a few times around um, my room of these flowers and butterflies, but this is kind of the first time you see it. So moving over here, the collage that I made in 2016. So it has Ariana Grande with her Viva Glam advertisement when she released those MAC lipsticks. Um, I also have a photo of Bella Thorne. I'm not really a huge fan of Bella Thorne, but I really liked this advertisement, which I got from Seventeen Magazine. All right, so here is a picture of my jewelry collection. So it is on my dresser. You can kind of see yourself in the corner, so say hello to yourself. But this is where I put all my um, jewelry. So I kind of have a system, but I kind of don't at the same time. So the white one over here is kind of where I put like my pearls and my roses and my rose gold stuff. The Hello Kitty one was a gift from my brother like four years ago. And it's where I put all my earrings. And then the one behind it is just kind of where I put like other kind of stuff. And then mostly the one behind that it was a gift from my aunt and it's mainly just earrings and anklets and watches. So here we have a picture of me in grade 10. Um, it's the only good picture of me from like picture day <laughs> ever. It's, oh my goodness. I always have bad luck with picture days, but this one turned out pretty well. And then I just have all makeup here. Um, it's kind of disorganized, but um, I have this for my look here. As you can tell, I have my Hirajuku girls um, from like the Gwen Stefani line from the early 2000s. And then I also have one of these Britney Spears um, circus perfumes here. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do love the shape of it, and I do love Britney Spears' perfumes the best. I would even say that I love them more than like Ariana Grande's fragrances, but I'm just glad that I can get them for like 20 bucks at like Shoppers Drum Mart. And because I'm a huge nerd, I have a globe. I don't know why it's pointing to South America right now. Top of my mirror, I have those butterflies and flowers again that I was talking about. I also just have random stuff like metals. Um, I have a hat from Halloween. And then I also just have pictures of when I was in school with my friends and with activities and notes from my best friend. Is my mirror here that's in this corner. So I just have a wolf hat for an award that I won um, because my school's mascot was a wolf um, and so I just got like a spirit kind of award. It's kind of hard to explain but I just got this hat and I just put it here because it fits perfectly and no way I'm wearing that thing out. I used to have my Broadway posters all around here. They weren't real posters at all. I literally just printed them out um, at school when I was like 16 and I just put them up. Um, they didn't look too good, but they didn't necessarily look bad, but I just, I couldn't stand them anymore, so I just kind of threw them out. So that was one of the changes that I made before this video. The thing I have is my kind of, I call it my desk, but I really can't sit down at it at all, but I guess I'll just start off with the posters that I have here. So I have some guests. I have this picture of Iggy Azalea just because I really liked this photo of her and I love the pink jacket and I felt like it went well with all the other posters that I had here. Picture of Ariana Grande talking about her Viva Glam collection and I just kind of printed it out because I love Ariana Grande. And then I also have another Miss Dior uh, perfume. I also have a picture of 
Rihanna with this outfit that I love where she's wearing that fake fur. I also have a quote that just says, be amazing. And I just love this idea of the sweater and like the polka dots and the jewels. I don't know, like that is my style there. Just that little clip of the shirt and the polka dots and the jewels. I also got this Juicy Couture ad with their uh, Viva La Juicy, is that the name of the perfume? There's so many perfumes of Juicy Couture and I love them all and it's hard to keep them straight. So over here I have my favorite movies over here. So I have the GBF, which is, or the Gay Best Friend. I have Mean Girls, Clueless, Marie Antoinette, Legally Blondes. I have the Legally Blonde press kits. I have Legally Blonde 2, Legally Blonde. Um, I have a perfume here from Juicy Couture. I have my Marie Antoinette books here. So I have this one, Marie Antoinette, The Journey, which is what um, the movie is based on and then I also have this book here you're doing research on Marie Antoinette this is most likely the book that they're gonna be referencing when you're reading those documents and those texts and those books and then here is just a, a lamp that I have here I like it a lot because it looks kind of like a steampunk kind of aesthetic I also just have a book here from the producers uh, which is a musical um, my Phantom the Opera mug more theater books I have the Hamilton book and then I have this theater textbook here which is actual university textbook of the uh, Phantom of the Opera mug when I went to go see Phantom of the Opera the other one that I got my mom found at Value Village but this one was when I actually went to go see Phantom of the Opera uh, North American tour and then I just have my tickets in here and then I also have the Enchanted soundtrack so I have my chandelier here so originally this was in my parents bedroom when we moved in here but they thought it was ugly and it is a little bit ugly but a chandelier is better than no chandelier do I literally just have one bulb left you gotta be kidding me Anyway, I just have my recycling bin over here in my window. Um, I also just have a file storage thing here um, from like a fashion drawing kit that I got when I was a kid and I put like important stuff in there, uh -oh, you know. And here is my bed here. So it has this canopy and um, it has a Star Wars pillow on it. Hello, isn't that cool? Aren't I cool? I think I'm cool. So this is my bedside table. So under there I keep magazines, binders, old glasses, pho phone cases, all of that kind of stuff. It's really a mess in there. And then I have a picture of Mary Antoinette here in this kind of Rococo kind of Baroque style frame. I have this like old, old American Girl doll when they made like little short ones. Um, for, that came with the book that I had over there. A lot of people say that she looks like Cinderella or Mary Antoinette and she's neither of those but I could see why people would say that and she's just gorgeous and that's why I keep her over here. I have a Monster High doll here from when I was like young too with her little dog and I don't know I felt like her skin went really well with <laughs> with uh, everything that I had here, so that's why she's over here. I also have this porcelain doll that I got from Dollywood, uh, which is like Dolly Parton's like amusement park in like, is it Tennessee? I think it's in Tennessee. Let's have this saying which says, art makes you happy, and I love that saying so much, and I absolutely love it. And then I also just, I think this photo is literally called a girl with her dog. This birdcage here and then I also have an Alice in Wonderland ornament. Um, I also have a picture of Alice in Wonderland in the background. Um, I don't know who the artist is. I'm sorry. I printed it off years ago. So if someone knows the artist who painted this or drew this, please um, comment down below and I will link them in my description. Um, here is this jewelry box which I painted white and it just has stuff like phone chargers, batteries, extra headphones. On the other side of my bed I have these kind of candle holder things, kind of like the shadow outline of it and I love it so much and my mom used to have these just like I think in our living room or something like that and then she gave them to me when we moved here and I absolutely love them so much. So I have candles and some more perfumes here. So I have this candle holder from my Sweet 16 that I had and then I have just a bouquet in the background of fake flowers and then I have a macaroon lip balm just chilling in there from Forever 21. I have my kind of hummingbird purse and then I have my other Aldo purse and then below that I have a piggy bank over there but it's really boring um, and then I have kind of this box here Oof. Uh, my hand sanitizers on top and then I have all my nail polishes in here and then if you go over here I have a map 
of the world. I just like how this map looks with the rest of the room here. I have a mirror here, which the previous owners of this house left here. They left a lot of stuff for us. I mean, most of it wasn't good, but this was the one good thing, and I painted it white because before it was kind of like this bronzy color. Then I have over here, I have my clock, which I got for like $20 at kind of like a, uh, like an antique fair, garage sale kind of thing. These more flowers here from my Sweet Sistine. I have what I call my like spooky fandom shelf here, which just has like little spooky things that I have here. So like I have my voodoo doll from when I was in the Crucible. I made that for the play that I was in from my school. I just have like candles. I have one of those Chinese cat things. Um, I have Star Wars action figures. I have my Edgar Allan Poe action figure. I have my Anna Green Gables dolls and a cat doll over there. Then I have my movies, I have Hello Kitty, I have um, my CDs, mostly for musicals, and then I have my Groot action figure with the, is it Pookie? Is that the name of the bear from Garfield? Yeah, that's his teddy bear. And then I have my Trolls and Hello Kitty collection down there, and I have my BB-8 over here. So I have this picture of Central Park over here. It's in black and white and I absolutely love it. Then I have these three crowns here which hold most of my long necklaces because I do have my jewelry collection over there but most of them are too long for those short um, trees so I just have to put them here. And then I have my double door closet over here which I will probably show you in another video because it is so messy right now and I don't want to get into that. I'm gonna end this video now. Um, that was all of my room. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe because you can watch more of the videos that I'm going to be posting very, very soon. Um, and yeah, you can watch some of the other videos that I have posted here. And I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day.